Now, today, I'm going to be ranking every level in Skylanders Superchargers. Don't think I'm going to be doing a ranking video on levels for every game. In fact, I'm only doing this for Superchargers. Because in my opinion, Superchargers is the game with the best levels. So, let's get into this. So, the Bandit Train is last place for me. It's just too dark. I don't like dark levels. It like I like every level in Superchargers, to be honest. But this has to be the worst, just because of how dark it is. You can't see anything. And yeah, that kind of annoys me. Next up is, if we go over here, Ride Apocalypse Demo Derby. I really don't like being in a car basically the whole time. And I think a lot of people can agree with me. Like, you don't want to be in a car the whole level. So, yeah. Anyway, next up, the Spellpoint Library. Now, I don't know. I honestly don't know why, but when I'm playing this level, I just get bored. This level's just boring for me, to be honest. I don't know why. I. It sounds pretty cool getting sucked into books and having to go through the story but i just get bored last playing it anyway next up is battle brawl island battle brawl island is a pretty cool place it's an arena and you're basically just fighting the whole time and it is fun but you know you want to be doing other stuff as well other than just fighting next up is land of the undead the only reason it's this slow down is because even though the level's really awesome, the basically the reason is because of me being bad at the game and Count Money Bone is so hard and I always lose loads of Skylanders when fighting him. I'm aware I'm bad at the game, but who cares? Anyway, next up, the Rift to Skylands, the first level. Now, I know this is the first level i'm aware it needs to be very easy this just feels too easy you know what i mean it's it's too easy that's the problem with it anyway next up is the cloud kingdom now the cloud kingdom is a pretty fun level but it does lag a lot for me so yeah next up Vault of the Ancients. Now, Vault of the Ancients it is a pretty fun level, but I don't like all the bombs on the ground in the racing sessions. They're annoying. Not racing, but vehicle sessions. There's loads of bombs, which are really annoying. Next up, the Cloud Breather's Crag. Now, this level is awesome. The only reason it's this low down is because the other levels are that better. Like, I don't have anything bad to say about this level. Next up, the Sky Eater. I love this level so much, and I love how at the end, well, spoilers, obviously, if you haven't played Superchargers, but I love how at the end, Chaos goes against the darkness. That is so cool. Next up is Captain Cluck's king-sized chicken now this is such a cool level i love how you can drink shrink where did drink come from i love how you can shrink and grow the enemies that is really fun so yeah next up monstrous isles now this is so fun you turn into a giant you turn into a giant they say Titan, but it's pretty much just a giant version of you. And if you're playing as an actual Skylanders giant, they're gigantuous. It's just such a good level. But in the first place, Gad Gadfly Glades? Gadfly. Is, is that a word? Am I an idiot or is that not a word? Or Gadfly? I've never heard that. But anyway, Gadfly Glades. So, this place is so cool. It's the opposite of the last one. You shrink, and I love it. You're making your way through this lady's garden, and obviously all the grass is huge and stuff. You have to fight bugs, and, but here's the main reason it's first. 
it's home to my favourite creature in Skylanders, my favourite living thing in Skylanders, the Twitter pillar. You guys have no idea how much I love Twitter pillars. So yeah, this level is awesome. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and the next video, when the cat has eaten the Oreos.